pleasant greetings to you. John the Baptist was what Isaiah 40 verse 3 is referring to when the Old Testament prophet alludes to a voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Nabanggit ko na yung joke na Ilocano daw si Jesus ha. Kasi ang ibig sabihin daw ng Inri ay Ilocos Norte Region 1. <laughs> ano daw sa Ilocano ang message ni John the Baptist na straight paths? Magkababayan kasi si Jesus at si Juan eh. Hmm, ang Ilocano daw ng straight paths, okay nga rude. Haha, <laughs> today let's talk about an obstacle para maging okay ang roads natin sa spiritual journey natin. Ang obstacle ng spiritual numbness. Hmm, may kasabihan sa Ingles na a rolling stone gathers no moss. Tama naman yun eh. Pero sa spiritual journey natin, if you are a rolling stone, okay, di ka nga nilulumot ha? Pero, ang dami mo namang nasasagasahan. Haha, <laughs> All of your rocking and rolling life is nothing but relationships. Remember that. Besides, tiyak yan. Para kang bato na patalbog-talbog rolling down a very bumpy yet straight road. Ah, correction daw sabi ng isang parishioner ko. Di ka lang bato. Ang tawag sa patalbog-talbog na bato ay batonics. <laughs> so, batonics ka na nga ba sa buhay? Kung yes, then you may be suffering from spiritual numbness. Kailan ba tayo spiritually numb? Kung comfortably numb ka, kapatid, tignan natin ang isang demonstration na ito. Not if you can hear me Is there anyone home? A frog is a cold-blooded animal and humans are warm-blooded so our body burns energy or perspires to maintain the same 98.6 degrees. The cold-blooded frog's body temperature goes up and down with the temperature of its surroundings. Although frogs love water, when I hold it over this pot of boiling water, this frog is very uncomfortable and climbs to get away from it. Now the water in this pot is room temperature, 69.4 degrees, so he's comfortable when I put him in. If I turn the burner on low flame, his body temperature will adjust and slowly he will heat up with the water. The water temperature has risen to 80 degrees and the frog is the same temperature and still comfortable. If I turn up the burner slowly again, he won't notice because he'll continue to change to be the same as his surroundings. When we started, I held the frog over the first pot of boiling water. He was uncomfortable and he tried to get away from the heat. But now, because we're raising the temperature slowly, he doesn't recognize the danger he's in. He just keeps going along with the changes in his surroundings. Eventually, we can turn up the burner to a deadly boil. He will just keep trying to adjust with it. By the time he realizes it's killing him, it's too late. He won't notice the time because he just keeps changing himself to go along with the changes in his surroundings. Magandang palaisipan ngayon sa panahon natin itong sinabi ni Plato noong 3rd century BC pa ha? Ang sabi niya, The price good men pay for indifference to public affairs is to be ruled by evil men. Aray ko po, parang very late reminder na ito ha? Well, matagal ng reminder yan eh. Politically ignorant lang tayo siguro for the longest time. 
Para hindi naman tayo mag-fall sa spiritual ignorance, tingnan natin ang signs of spiritual numbness. The first sign is when we have been sitting on our sins for so long. Nako po, yung sins natin since high school or since grade school, naging favorite sins na natin. That is more than too long, ha? Huh? Kaya siguro naging addictions na. Kaya through the years, ang addictions have been eating away the fibers of our moral gauges. Okay na yun. Di naman... Okay na yan. Di naman sin yan eh. Ginagawa ko naman palagi eh. Maunawa na ako ni Lord. Ha? Babaero ka ba kano? Eh, ginawa akong lalaki ni Lord eh. Natural sa lalaki ang mang babae. Ano ang kasalanan ko dun? Nako po, patay tayo dyan. Batoings talaga yan. Patalbog-talbog na bato na winawasak di lang ang sarili ha. Pati ang ibang tao at mga tahanan. Hinding-hindi yan magiging okay nga road. <laughs> And don't say you have not been warned. ha? Huh? The second sign of spiritual numbness is when we have lost the sense of sin. Pambihira po talaga ang culture of decay and death na umiiral sa tao ngayon. Kapag galit, nagmumura. Kapag nagugulat, idinadamay ang pangalan ng Diyos. Kapag may failed relationships, na ang ibig talagang sabihin, nabuko ang infidelity. Ha? Siya pa ang galit at mambubuli para panindigan ang kanyang fake innocence. Tapos ipopost pa sa social media. Merong hindi na unawaan sa Catholic teachings and doctrinal positions, aatakihin ang church and its leaders. Hindi naman kasal sa simbahan, hindi naman nagko-confession, comfortable lang magkumunyon for so many years. Catholic naman daw siya, pero naniniwala sa mga manghuhula or card readers, kaya magkukumunyon. Lagi namang late sa mass, pero communion lang ng communion. Text na lang text sa misa, pero nagsisimba naman daw at fulfilled na ang Sunday obligations. Wala nang sense of what truly offense God. Alam nyo ba ang hiling pa ng mga ito? Ganito, the church should consult the people daw what sin is and what is not. The church, meaning the old men who rule the church, ha? ayan ang isip ng iba eh, should not invent rules and policies that are outmoded and outdated. Synodality daw means embracing all and everyone regardless of the moral preferences of individuals as God desires. Ano? Synodality means manipulating who God is? At social influencer ka pa ba ka mo? Naku po, lalong patay tayo dyan. Ang laki ng pagkukulang natin sa mind, heart, and spirit because of this social media's culture of moral decay and death. A lot of work needs to be done talaga. The third sign of spiritual numbness is sloth and religious indifference. When asked why people do not go to sacramental confessions, maraming different answers eh. Isa na doon ay ito, wala naman akong kasalanan eh. Of course, kung manhid na tayo sa kasalanan, what do we need to ask forgiveness for? Marami din ang tamad o sisain ang konsyensya. That's another reason. We don't want to think far in the past, lalo na kung feeling good naman ako now at jaded by brokenness and failed hurtful relationships lang ang past ko. Examining one's conscience kasi may open up old wounds. Kaya marami ang takot. Kaya dito na lang ako sa ibang relihiyon. Walang sacramental confessions. Easy on followers, light on sinners, basta very accepting pa of my moral preferences. Accept lang Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? O, oh, madali lang yon. Pareho lang naman ang iisang Diyos natin eh. Branding lang yung religion. Basta spiritual ako, I am religious, I am okay. 
Well, for starters, Jesus did not found a spirituality. He established a church, only one true church. Secondly, when the resurrected Jesus breathed the Holy Spirit to his apostles, he mandated them, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Nasa John 20, 23 yan. That is the institution of the sacrament of confession. Eh, Father, makasalanan din naman yung paring yan eh. Tama, wala namang priest na angels. Human beings ang lahat ng pare. Isn't that a good news? Pero, itanong ko sa iyo, kung ang cardiologist mo may hypertension din, di mo lang alam. Or, your diabetologist may have elevated blood sugar din. Ang tanong, do you stop going to them for treatment? Eh, Father, nakakahiya mga umpisal eh. When you go to see your medical doctor, ganun din naman. Sometimes you have to bear it all. Nakakahiya talaga. If you can't be honest with your doctor, bahala ka. Pero, the door to sacramental forgiveness is humility. How do you prove humility? Through outright humiliations sometimes or some humbling experiences. For confessions, a simple admission of your personal, private, and public sins and being truly sorry for them, that is the condition. Kaya direct confession na nga lang ako kay Lord Father eh. Talaga? Yan naman talaga ang unang step, my dear friend. Direct confession to God. We cannot go to sacramental confession unless we humble first ourselves in the presence of the Lord. That is of course according to James 4.10. How do we prove humility to an utterly divine spiritual being? Even God had to send His Son to come among us as a human being to prove His humility. Humility is best shown before another human being. And after curing a leper, ano ang sabi ni Jesus? Go, show yourself to the priest. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. Ayun, may need ka ng assurance from God that you are forgiven through the priest's administration of absolution. So, para okay ang road trips natin, let us avail of this AAA Road Assistance Program. O, libre lang ito. Hindi lang free towing service ha, pati repair and maintenance pa. Libre din. First, acknowledge our sins. Second, accept God's forgiving love through absolution. And third, amend our lives. Here are some Advent reminders. First, let us remember that there is no mark of sin in our past that God cannot erase. Tandaan natin ito. Wala tayong marka ng kasalanan na hindi kayang burahin ng Diyos. Pag nagkumpisal tayo, hindi mababawasan yung kasalanan mo. Nabubura yan. Second, as God forgives us, so also be forgiving to others. Please help others in their effort to start anew. At third, a final reminder. May God bless our spiritual journey. Amen.